How about the juniors? We want to know who are the top juniors in high school football. I'm talking about the class of 2009. For more on that, let's check in with our recruiting expert, Tom Lemon, who joins us on the phone. Tom, nice to talk to you again, man. You've got your top 100 coming out in a few days for the class of 2009. Let's talk about your top 20. Number one is Matt Barkley, a quarterback. Am I hearing comparisons of Jimmy Clausen here as one of the most highly touted quarterbacks in a long time? Yeah, really, he's, um, he's actually just as good. Clausen had that great touch. Barkley might even have a stronger arm. He's a little bit thicker at 6'3", 220. And he plays great competition, better competition than Clausen. He plays against the best schools in the L.A. area and has done fantastic. He threw for over 4,000 yards against some of the better teams in the L.A. area. So you know he's got, you know, not only he's got the arm, the size, the poise, but he's also got the production, which is more important. And second on your list, you got Bryce Brown, a running back, going to Miami to join his brother there. Uh, what do you expect he's going to be able to do as a freshman for the Hurricanes? Well, they're telling him they're going to throw him right into the backfield right away. Arthur's having trouble, obviously, learning defensive schemes, which I knew would be a problem right away. But he'll play uh, in the next, in the first month or two of the season. But running backs have a little bit easier. You know, it's more instincts. And, and if you've got the size and speed and burst, then you're going to play. And Bryce Brown... According to what uh, he, he's been hearing from the Miami coaches, they expect him to come in and contribute as a true freshman in 2009, and I believe he'll do that. He's 6'2", 215. He can run. He's got great vision. And he was actually the Kansas player of the year last year, not his brother Arthur, who was a year older. Bryce actually won the award. The highest-ranked undecided junior in your top 20 is a young man named Craig Lawson, a defensive back. Which schools are in on him right now? Where do you see him leaning? He likes Texas. Texas has offered him, and they've gotten almost everybody in the state except for him and Jamarcus McFarland that they wanted. But he likes Texas. LSU's putting a lot of pressure on him. So is USC. Everybody likes USC, no matter what part of the country you're in. And then you got the uh, the, the normal suspects. You got the the, uh, the usual suspects in Florida, Florida State, schools like that. But I look for Texas, USC, or LSU. Jamarcus McFarland, you mentioned him. He's your number one defensive tackle. What are we talking about here? Is he the next Marvin Austin of defensive tackles in high school football? I don't know if he's quite as good as Marvin. He didn't have Mar Marvin's uh, relentless style of play. Marvin, no matter what, double, triple teams, he had that relentless motor that would go right into the whistle. Sometimes after, it would get him in trouble. But Jamarcus is a very good ball player from Lufkin, Texas. That school normally sent players to Texas A&M in the past. The head coach, John Outlaw, had great chemistry with some of the other A&M coaches. Now, if he does with the new coach, then I think uh, Jermichael's will wind up there. If not, he's fair game. Texas has made a big push, so is Oklahoma, LSU. Normally, if you're in the Houston area or anywhere in Dallas, it's usually uh, anywhere in Texas. It's uh, LSU, Oklahoma, Texas, Texas A&M. And then USC will come in after the great ones. USC's already offered them, so you got to keep an eye on them. Again, we're just days away from Tom debuting his top 100 for the class of 2009 on CBSSports.com. Tom Lemming, thank you so much. My pleasure, guys. Take care.